Hey guys, welcome back. So I did a couple things today, um, at just like every day. But I want to point out first off that we have a bunch of diamonds, so we're really set on that. I raised the mine. Um, I did add a second layer to it, if I didn't mention that last episode. And I've been getting tons and tons of diamonds from that. So I think I found like three diamond veins. And with, excuse me, with my fortune pick, yeah, I'm getting a good... <laughs> 10 diamonds from each uh, little area. Each. I can't think of the word right now. <laughs> Even though I just said it. I'm a little tired and pro possibly a little sick. So, I did get these two swords. I think you might have seen this one once. But um, I got a smite sword. And I went through an efficiency 4 pickaxe. And then got an unbreaking 3 pickaxe. Which is awful. I'd prefer if it was... Uh, an efficiency four, because I have enough diamonds to make up for that, but... <sighs> Whatever. Um, I updated the lighting in here to be a little stripped down here, because it looked just too weird with just one little dot on the sides. Um, I also did the same thing down here, and over here. And... Why are they all huddling around this corner? Whatever. Freaking cows. I also made myself a bedroom down here, so... Oh, it's night time. Um, so we can sleep here, and I don't have to have my spawn set at the other place anymore, which is good because I kept going straight there because that was, like, my home. So I would go there and then be like, oh, well, my minecart's here. Because I, I, I kept wanting to leave this stuff here. I mean, I still want to have it so I can take it with me over there, so I can go mining and then I can come back up if my pick breaks or something, just grab a new, make a new one and run back down and or something like that. Although I guess usually it requires a lot more preparation since I need to go... Uh, farm some levels for it and stuff, but whatever. Um, which brings me to other stuff that I did. It's over here. We have an enchanting t an enchanting room here. I know it doesn't have to be three high, but I wanted to make it three high because it looks cooler. I mean, come on. It looks awesome. There's just a glowstone block underneath there. And these things are see-through, so, you know, you can just... I think I mentioned that when I built the last one, but it's good to keep in mind, so you can just put light underneath it. Makes it all awesome looking as well. Um, in here we have an enchanting station. This is CNB Minecraft's thing, except it's slightly different. I put some lights up there so it would look nice, and I've got some of the uh, neat sandstone stuff down here, which is just sandstone. You take regular sandstone and you put it like that, and that'll make this kind of sandstone. The other one, you take the sandstone and break it into sandstone slabs, and then put one on top of the other one in your crafting square, and you'll get the other kind with the creeper face on it. Which I did make a couple of those, but I haven't actually used them for anything. And I probably won't. I mean, I'm not building much sandstone here, but I just wanted this to be distinctive so you could see all the buttons, and I didn't know what else to put aside from, like, stone or... I guess I could have put, like, some kind of wood, maybe some logs, but... Uh, maybe I'll go with logs. I'll go and get some pine logs or something, see if that works. Uh, but yeah, so this is just... Uh, I've got all my stuff up here. Nope, that's not what I want to do. Uh, I've got some things I don't have very much of, like gas tears and stuff. I don't have any melons because I haven't found any melon seeds yet. But I've got a bunch of spider eyes from it to spider eyes and um, gunpowder. There's redstone and glowstone is up there. And the top four just have the stuff you need. Like, it'll spit out three glass bottles and a nether wart when I press a button. So let's come over here. And just to show you how I'd make um, the potions that I use at the mob grinder, you put a corruption effect on it and the splash. On here, I've written down the effect of the potion. So, like, it'll give you sugar here which is a speed potion, but if you corrupt it with the corruption, which is why it's in parentheses, you get the effect that's in parentheses. And it this actually just happened to be how I laid them out. Um, the two slowness are over here, the two weakness are over here, and the two harming over here. Uh, like, it was in to that was totally chance. I was just like, okay, well, sugar goes first, because that, you know, could be pretty useful. And then I guess fire resistance is also pretty useful, and then I figured, well, fire resist is the magma cream if you make it with the slimes and the and the um, blaze powder, then it, it requires blaze powder, so I've got to put blaze powder here. And then regeneration, I guess, I don't really know how that... I guess I was just like, well, I should put healing next, uh, or next to each other. And so I put two healing ones and then the poison one. And it just happened to work out nicely, so that's cool. But yeah, so uh, I've got splash and corruption on, and poison. It just spits out all the stuff. I can just run along and collect it. And then I've got this water here so I can grab stuff. And it also is suitable for 
tossing stuff in if I don't want it, because I can't actually walk down into the water, which is nice. Um, you know, I, I could put more fence blocks all the way up to the ceiling. Maybe we'll try that in a second. Um, and then I just put one, two, three, and I can go ahead and, and do that. Um, but while that's going, I, uh, well, while that's going, I'll explain what's over here. Um, this is to change the level of the enchantment that you can get. Um, over here extends all but one block here, which actually I don't think it's getting any enchantment from here. Oh, it might be getting it from these ones. I'm not sure. I don't actually have anything that I can enchant in my inventory, so I can't check. But, um, and, like, I thought maybe I could put something enchanted in, but it doesn't work, and putting other stuff in doesn't bring up the enchantments, so. Um, let's put the next thing in here. That one. And let's go get some fences and see how that looks. Because that, that could look pretty cool, I think. I think. I don't know. And here we are. We have this glass. Ah, here we are. That's this. Um, I love this storage room. It's so useful. I mean, I keep confusing myself because I come up and then I get all turned around. Maybe I should turn those uh, signs around so that they're facing this ladder that I just came down. Because then I... Oh. Because that way it's... That's the way that I come most often. I rarely come in through the door. That's not right. Um, that looks pretty cool. I think I like that. Maybe I'll even put a glowstone on the ceiling. Um, fermented spider eye, that'll turn it into a harming potion. Or, harming... Yeah, I guess it's a potion. I want to call it a poison, because it's... It's... I mean, realistically, it's it's not a potion. Potions are good. That's not that's not good. Here's the extra sandstone that I have. I don't know why I came all the way up here. I wanted to get to glowstone. This is just giving me something to do while I'm cooking that stuff. Because I do need more of those potions, so. Let's see, how does that look? Yeah, that's alright. I don't know. Maybe I'll fix it later. Maybe I'll change it later, I should say. Potion of harming. And then put the gunpowder in to make it splash. And there you go. And the wiring for this, um, if I come back here, uh, this, these are the for the levers. It's the same on both sides. This goes to this piston, which when it pushes it up, makes it so that the wire that comes down. Um, the torches all, or, okay, the, the buttons all have torches on the back of them, which lead up to torches underneath these blocks, so that it's by default off. When I press the button, it, it, it turns on for a second. And that'll send power along here which will send power to all of the top ones, which are the, the ones with the um, the three bottles and the nether wart. So that way, no matter which button you press, it does this. These blocks all have the, the specific ingredient dispensers in front of them. So when, um, when I press the button, it just dispenses whichever one. Like, the torches will come up here, and this torch will turn on, which will power this block, which will power the dispenser in front of it. So that'll, that's how it picks which one is going to be spit out. And then for the other things, that like the, the redstone and glowstone and stuff, uh, this there's a piston under here, and it extends, which... Is that necessary? It's, I feel like it's not necessary, but I'm going to leave it anyway. Um, that'll push up here. Oh yeah, that's probably necessary for the piston to... Well, I, actually, I, I don't know. Never mind. Um, that'll push this gravel block up, which, these these aren't sticky pistons, by the way, because I didn't want to waste my slime balls, which, actually, I don't think I have that many left. I might have, like, one over. Or one left over. And, um, that'll push that up, so when I press the button, the signal will come down here and go into the block, which will then get pushed through to that side and power the, uh, this dispenser here. And then, this piston up here is a similar thing. There's just gravel above the piston, and it just comes in from up here. And... The the power just comes up through the torch and up there and onto there to power that piston. And with glowstone, glowstone's weird. Uh, the reason this glowstone has to be here is because it'll create like a bud switch with the dispensers if you don't do it. Something like that. I'm not really sure. <laughs> um, uh, that's what CNB Minecraft said, so I, I'm inclined to believe him. 
said something about it, it turning it into a bud switch if you didn't put the glowstone because it's all just bleh. Um, this one right here is actually because it doesn't look like it's connected here, but glowstone, the wire can actually pass through it up, that is. It can't actually pass through it down, so... Actually, wait, that's exactly what's happening here. So, I don't know. Maybe it's... Yep, I have no idea. Um, so... Uh, yeah. The... Maybe it can't go down this way? I'm really not sure. But yeah, so it comes up through here, and if this... And it also comes back down through here, so it's a nice way to split the wiring. I mean, I guess you could just kind of go around if you really wanted to. Um, although, would that reach? If we had it all the way over here, we have... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh yeah, it would definitely reach. Um, but yeah, so that's how that works. Uh, it's pretty simple concept. Um, once you you know you know what you're doing and everything, but it's it's still a pretty intricate thing, just in general. And there's our potions, so that's cool. Um, the way that this works over here is the um, there's a wire on top of this block here that when um based on okay the wire starts here and runs this way and if we hop in here you'll see the wire just comes along and runs down here this is actually the wiring for my um my furnace things which kind of surprised me when i hit it it comes down here and it just goes to the pistons down there when i've got it at the farthest side the power only comes to this block which doesn't power any of the the pistons down here but the um, when I move it over one, it'll power just this one right here. And then if I move it over two, then it'll power these two as well. And then if I move it over the third one, it'll power that block, which has a piston at the end of it. Um, and is that it? Is that all that there is? Just those ones? I thought there was more. Oh, wait, what? Okay. Uh, second position powers this one. Third powers these two. Fourth powers that one and that one. And then fifth powers these last two on the sides. Um, so I can control how many uh, thingies. I, how many blocks I can... <sighs> the more bookcases you have, the higher the, the enchantment level you can get. And you can block some of them off. So, like, say I put it here, it just blocks off those three back there, which does include these three up here. It's not getting um, any benefit from these ones back here. And I don't think it's getting benefit from the ones in the corners here, but I could be wrong. I'm not sure. Like, see, that one just kind of came through this block, so I don't really know. But uh, it's, it's all right, because if I move it all the way down here, then I pretty much, like, well, I mean, see, there's still a few things coming in. I think probably from like this one and this one, but it uh, it's enough to make sure that I can get a really low level enchantment. Um, I'm just seeing if I can enchant that, because this will only give me a max level of like, I want to say 8 maybe, something like that, so I can still get a really low level enchantment if I want to. Not that I would necessarily want to, but... You know, um, and that's just I've got I've got a high and low thing just so I know, and can tell the difference. Because um, I personally feel that low should be on the left and high should be on the right because it's going up, but that's not how it works. So I need to tell myself so I don't get confused. Um, but yeah, so that's I like I like this. I could have I guess set it up so that it had levers or buttons or something, but you know I think I think this is just the coolest and it's the easiest. It's just like you just pick it up and move it. You know? It's almost like you've actually just got a slider where you can just slide it slide it across and be like, oh, here we go. This is the one I want. So, I like that. Um, oh, I just realized. Originally, I had it this doorway here, kind of like this one, where it had a little arch around it. Um, and the glowstone was stopped like it was over here, so that it stopped like there, and then there was just, you know, the doorway, and then another stop here, and then glowstone. But I was like, you know, I wonder how that would look if I just took that out. And it looks alright. I was worried because of this thing here, but... Oh, right, that's another thing I did. I, I changed the stairs, because they were uh, just stairs-like 
like these ones, but uh, I changed them. And I'm, I'm kind of... These ones bother me a little bit because you can see there's one block here. And I'm really tempted to just, like, move this wall one block over and then move that wall one block over. And make it so that this fits perfectly. But I've... Ugh, I so want to do it, but I might not. Uh, but I do like that I've got this kind of stairs here because it's, it's a quick transition down. Whereas over here I have to go all the way up this long staircase. So yeah. Those freaking spiders, they... Oh my god. Like, every night... Every night, every freaking night, they get out here, and they just make me so angry. I lit up this whole area hoping they wouldn't spawn. Maybe they're spawning up there. Let's get some blocks out. I only have wood, so we're using wood. I have a diamond axe, so... Psh. It's not like I'm wanting for anything. What is this? Is there... Yeah, there's empty space on the other side of that. Crap. Is there empty space here? There's not empty space on the other side of that. Let's just put a glowstone block there keep mobs from spawning up there. I mean, they're still spawning on the roof, but... I mean, well... Maybe they weren't spawning up there, but that's just nice anyway. Oh, and because I changed my stairs like that, I was able to take out the... the uh, there was some stone brick showing up here on the uh, floor, just around this side and this side, but I was able to remove that, so that's cool, because I didn't like those being there. I don't know why I covered that back up. Maybe I need a back door, just a way out. Just like build a little hut thing on the back of this so I can just walk behind the ladder and and leave. That might be nice. Because I do find myself going out there a lot. Maybe I'll do that. Um, let's see. Anything else? Anything else? Anything else? I don't think so. I know I said I was going to put these down by my, my farm thing. But I dug out a space and I was like, you know, these are really far away from my house. I don't really want to have all that crap really far away from my house. So, yeah. Um, but I think it worked out pretty well. I mean, I was iffy. Oh, the reason I was saying that there was an arch here before is because it was bothering me. Because I had I had dug out this room, right? And I was thinking, oh, it's great. I'll have... I mean, it, it also bothers me that this room is two blocks wide. And this one is... Or it's an even number wide. And this one's an odd number wide. So they couldn't line up. But that's all right. Um... This fortunately did line up pretty well. Actually, this might be one block farther in than that one is. Um, debatable. I mean, technically, the far wall is that block right there, which is the same as this far wall. But, I mean, the majority of this far wall is this block, which is one block in. But, um, I was worried because it originally went like that-ish. So I had three blocks on this side and four blocks on this side, and that was making me so angry, but I just, I, I decided not to look at it, and I was like, I, I can't, I can't deal with it right now. Um, but now that I've done that, it's actually four blocks wide on both sides, so that's cool. I don't have to worry about that anymore. And, uh, yeah. I mean, I don't have to have these blocks here, I guess, technically. Um, let's see what it would look like without them. I think I put them there because originally I didn't have this kind of... Yeah, see, look, the wall looks so boring without that glowstone. Oh, I shouldn't use my silk, my silk touch pick for that. I have an Unbreaking 3 pick that I could be using. Um, let's try 2 glowstone. Yeah, that looks nice. That's better than it did than it looked before. Um, you know, I could put glowstone behind here. Let's try that. But I do want all my stone bricks. Give me my stone bricks. Thank you. That looks nice. It's a little hard to see the redstone torch, but... Oh, cool. Okay, so I can't actually place this on the back wall. Um, which doesn't sound like anything particularly fancy. But I was originally wonder thinking I would have the, the wire up on top of this row here. But if I had placed the torch on the wall, then it would feed back into itself and burn out. Um, which might be kind of neat, I guess. It'd be like it malfunctions if you do it wrong. But, I don't know, it seemed like it would be more trouble to have it there than it would be to just remove it and make it so that it was... Or just just place it down on the bottom. Or, actually, I put the wire up on top of this, so it doesn't matter. But, um... It looks cooler when it's placed on the ground here, on the on the platform here, instead of on the wall anyway. But now I can't actually do that, even if I accidentally mess up and try to place it on the wall. It's still... Well, I guess that places it on the wall, but... 
Um, you know what I mean. See, I just leave that there. I mean, realistically, I don't see myself needing a variable enchantment thing. But, you know, I don't know. You never know when you're going to need it, so... Yeah. Anyway, that's pretty much all I've got here. Um, I found that over by my mob spawner, I actually did end up lighting up a bunch of caves because I went through that freaking uh, abandoned mine shaft looking for melon seeds, but I didn't actually end up finding any, of course, and I went incredibly far and found this ginormous cave system that went nowhere fast. Uh, nowhere good fast, at least. And I lit up so many caves around there that I, standing at my mob spawner, I can just look around with F3 on and see, oh, there, like, see how you can see some entities there? And the, there's the E up over here. That's how many entities are, are in this box here um, of my screen. And I think that includes the minecart. I'm not really sure. But I know it includes, like, any item drops as well um, or any mobs that may... And it doesn't have to be, like... It doesn't count if there's a wall between me and the object, and... Oop, I threw that. Oh, stupid. Oh, no. Sleep. Sleep, sleep. Sleep. Oh, it's probably too late. It's probably too... Oh, please go away. Is he gonna... Do you think it'll go away? You think the rain will go away? No. Crap. Wait. It went away! Awesome! Man, that was close. It was, like, already morning time. Um... Because, no. The freaking Endermen spawn, like, just teleport into my house all the time. I mean, I came down here one time, and there was just a grass block and a gravel block in this little pit here. And, um, yeah, they just teleport in all over the place, because my whole house is three blocks wide. So they just pop in and start taking my stuff. Is that guy in my house right now? Because if he is... Oh, spiders! Where? Where the heck are you coming from, man? I don't like you. Jeez. You'd think all these torches would be enough, but it's not. Okay. Um, but yeah, so I managed to light up so many caves over there, because that was the, the abandoned mine shaft that I was going through. And I, I was looking around, and I couldn't see any, like, the entities here. It was strictly the spiders in the spawner. And I knew that, because I was looking down, and there were four. And then I looked around, and it stayed four until they went off the screen. And when it dropped to zero... And I was just like, oh my god, apparently I lit up so many caves nearby, like all of the caves that are around this area, that, um, yeah, there's just nothing left for mobs to spawn in, which is good, because that means if I want to make my own mob spawner where I've just got dark space for mobs to spawn, I could put it over there, and it should have some pretty darn good rates during the day. Uh, of course, at nighttime, most of the mobs would spawn in places other than the, like, just out on the surface, but, yeah, uh, I have plenty of cobblestone, plenty of cobblestone, <laughs> um, and plenty of stone, too, like, that, I'd, I'd have to make another six rooms before I would be able to actually use all that, but I mean, I, I do, oh, I'll take that away, it's probably bothering everybody, um, I do have some more rooms that I need to build, I think, uh, I gotta check, I had a, I have a little notepad thing actually written out, of all of the different rooms that I need to have in my house that I wanted to make. I, I actually wrote the list before I started Season 2. Um, and, uh, yeah. I also have a crap ton of iron. Oh, let's put all this crap away that I just picked up. Um, so, I'm, I need to check that and see if there's anything on there that I haven't actually gotten done. But, um... I, I, like, I need a tree farm. I guess I have kind of reed farm and kind of a tree farm. Uh, you guys may have noticed there's some wood blocks sitting up above the wall here. I, I'm sure if you noticed, it probably would have been, like, last episode, because I don't think I've actually left the house this episode except to go out back. Um, let's... Oh, crafted blocks. Where am I? Sand and sandstone. Crafted blocks. Okay, let's just stick those down there. Yeah, I've just been growing my trees over here. Um, actually, I've also been growing mushrooms down here. <laughs> they they grow just fine under here and relatively quickly, too. I mean, I can get... Well, I say relatively quickly. They're not growing in large numbers, but they are growing pretty quickly. Um, yeah, I've just been growing my trees under here on this little ledge here. Because that's to prevent it from getting too tall so that it doesn't grow into super trees. Um, but yeah, the, like I can come back... And I'd say about the same time that it takes to harvest a full thing of wheat, or for a full thing of wheat to grow, I can get, like, 
six or seven mushrooms from down here. So, that's working pretty well. Um, I mean, that's not an incredible amount, and I actually went to the nether and planted a bunch of mushrooms and grew them, because I was thinking, you know, you can't grow mushrooms, like, on the surface anymore, because you can't plant them if there's sky above them, and if the light level is high. So during the day you can't do it, and at night you have to, you can do it, but you need to have a big platform over them. I tried doing it under the mushroom farm, th or under the tree farm thing, but, uh, it wasn't working, so... I don't know. Maybe it was too tall. Maybe it's too close to the building. Or, not tall enough, I mean. Maybe it's too close to the building. I'm not sure. But, yeah. Um, so, that didn't work so well. So, I just went to the nether. Because I was like, well, where do mushrooms grow? And I was like, oh, mushrooms grow in the nether. I could do that. So, I ran down to the nether. And, sure enough, I just stuck down a dirt block and started growing mushrooms. So, that worked out pretty well. Um, and I ended up making a ton. That's how I got all my fermented spider eyes. Fermented spider eyes, by the way, are spider eyes, sh mushrooms, and sugar. You just take a one sugar, one mushroom, and one spider eye. It's, it has to be a brown mushroom, though. Um, and put them in your crafting thing, and you get a fermented spider eye. So, yeah. Anyway, I think that's everything, uh, if I'm not mistaken. And this will be a nice addition to the house here. And I can also stick a, som stick a something else. I can stick something else on this, uh, like in this area here, if I if I want to. I don't know what else I would put here, necessarily, but um, yeah, maybe if I ever make like a slime farm or something, I could reroute them up to here. I don't really know how I would do that. I'd have to watch like some some eat those videos or B double O or something because they both have uh, things to make slimes climb up. And uh, yeah, so that that would be a nice thing to have here, just like a, a slime delivery system. So I can just come over here and pick up a bunch of slime balls, because that would be good for the potions, because I need them for the um, the magma creams and everything. Yeah, I, I like this. I I don't know how I feel about the glowstone yet. Um, I feel like it should be something other than this, though. Maybe it should make a a, a pattern on the ceiling, kind of like the pattern on the floor here, but without out of like stone instead, maybe. Just like um smooth stone around and maybe like cobblestone in the middle and then the bricks on the outside. I don't know. Maybe not. I tend to find myself looking down more than I look up anyway, so it doesn't really matter all that much except for the fact that you can see it when you walk in and that's bothering me now. Also, I was going to say earlier, but I forgot apparently. Um, I did change this a little bit. Uh, CNB's version, he generally covered up this whole wall here because pistons can shoot through blocks. So, like, even this one would shoot into the block and then it would just shoot right out. Um, and then he had a little thing with the water would bring it down to the middle. Like, right here, he'd just have two water sources, one above this block and one... Or, well, one where... Was it above that block? It might have been below that. Uh, it might have been, like, where this block is and then have another block underneath it. I think that's how it was. And it just came along, and it would drop the item straight here, so you wouldn't actually have to run around. You could just come in and hit a button, and it would plop on your head. But it took too long, and it, I didn't like how it stuck out into the middle of the room, and it meant that I would have to block off all of the dispensers so I couldn't refill them. Like, some of these things, I've only got four magma creams in there, so if I want to make some magma, if I want to make some fire assist potions, then I'm going to have to restock that soon. Um, and, you know, same with this, and regeneration potions, and stuff like that. So I figured it would be better just to leave it open so I can grab the stuff and put it in or do whatever. Um, and besides, it just worked better f in general with the room layout, I think. Because otherwise this would have to come down one over here so it would be shorter and it would just bother me and all that good stuff. Uh, also, I changed this up here while I changed the floor, I think. Did I? I might actually have just left it in the middle. I did some changes to it, tried lighting it from the sides, but it didn't look very good, so I decided to just stick with lighting it from the top. Um, back when it was stairs like this, it didn't actually need to be lit, and, and I believe I lit it like this, but um, now it does because every other one, like this one and this one and this one, well, I'm sure this one would be fine, but this one and that one both need to be lit so mobs don't spawn on them. And, uh, yeah. So... Okay, I've been talking for a long time, and my voice is tired, and I'm tired, and I need to take a nap. So, <laughs> thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye.